Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I have some exciting news for you guys. It has been discovered that the Droid 4 Root by Dan Rosenberg also works on the Droid Razor and the Droid Bionic with the latest software, version 5.9.902. So today I'm going to show you guys how to root the Bionic on 5.9.902, which is the latest build. Uh, with this moto fail exploit by Dan Rosenberg and like I said it also works on the droid 4 and the latest version of the droid razor uh, so without further ado let's get started um, let's see I'm gonna focus in to where you can see my phone a little better here and I'm gonna show you guys that I am running 5.9.902 and I don't have super user uh, as you can tell so we'll go into the settings and about phone and the system version there you can see it pretty clearly 5.9.902 so that is the latest version and I'm unrooted uh, so we'll go ahead and try out this hack so we'll go back to the PC get it focused in where you can see it good uh, what you want to do is head to the link in the description to bring you to this page uh, under instructions you'll download the files here uh, and you're looking for the exploit which can be downloaded here. That's going to give you a zip. You'll unzip that onto your desktop. Uh, so go ahead and unzip that to your desktop. You'll end up with this Motofell folder. Open that up. Uh, and on your phone, we'll go back to the phone real quick. On the phone, you will want to uh, go into settings. and applications and development be sure to check usb debugging if you don't then that one click program will not be able to find the phone also be sure to have the usb drivers installed on to your computer uh, if you don't have those installed on your computer it's still not going to be able to find your phone it should install whenever you plug in your phone at first if not there is a link for the usb drivers so we'll just kind of set this there to the side for now there is a link to the USB drivers at that description at the link in the description I'm sorry uh, so you should be able to get the drivers from there if they're not already installed see it already sees my phone here and my drivers are installed so the next thing you want to do is uh, double click this run.bat and it says before continuing ensure that USB debugging is enabled and that you have the latest Motorola drivers installed that your phone is connected via USB which it is press enter to root your phone and so now it's going to start the process this process takes uh, less than five minutes so we'll watch it do its thing it is going to reboot the phone several times and I will just allow it to uh, video the whole process so you guys can see everything that goes into this So once you have your Bionic rooted, there's some things that you can do. You can install Safe Strap, or you can install uh, the Bionic Bootstrap. And there is Ice Cream Sandwich for the Droid Bionic. I will be doing a video on that, but it now has 4G LTE service thanks to D-Hacker and Hashco. They've been working together uh, on that build for the Bionic. And of course, I believe Nitroglycerin may be working on Eclipse, an updated version. I think he's updating that to 5.9.902. Don't call me a liar if he's not. And also, Droid Theory is back on the scene. You guys know him, you Bionic guys, uh, because he had tons of awesome stuff for our device. And I know that currently he has a Razer and a Galaxy Nexus. So my hopes are that he's going to at least... Uh, get that stuff going and maybe some other developers will be willing to port his stuff to the Bionic if he's no longer working on the Bionic. But we should see some more development on the Droid Bionic. So the phone's rebooted and it's going to continue to root. And so it has done its thing and it's rebooting the phone once again. And as soon as this reboots, we should have Super User. So we're just going to kind of let it do its thing. As soon as it reboots, we'll check for the Super User APK. And uh, hopefully we can grab the root checker from the market and check 
the root status and make sure that it is rooted. But if you own Motorola devices that are rooted, it's probably because of Dan Rosenberg. He also goes by D Junior Bliss and Twitter, so you might want to follow him and give him tons of thanks. Because if you own like a Bionic, a Droid 3, a Razer, a Droid 4, chances are he's the one that put together root for your device. And of course we all want root on our device because without it we can't do things like Wi-Fi tether, custom ROMs, custom clockwork recovery, and the likes. So we're all rebooted and that should have completed the process. Just give it a few more seconds to see what our program says. See, it says exploit is complete. Press any key to exit. Okay, so we should be rooted. So come back to our phone, check on root. Okay, so we have the super user icon there. You guys can see that. Now let's head to the market real quick. And we'll pick up the root checker application. See here, I'm gonna, well, there we go. We already know we have it. You saw the super user request pop up. So we really don't have to go any further. That is how you root your Droid Bionic uh, on 5.9.902. Also, that is the same method you'll use for a Droid 4 or a Droid Razor. Guys, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3. Also, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll check you out on the next one.